This is a generic farmscape. It hasn't changed in 25,000 years. That's sad. This is a geodome designed by Buckminster Fuller in 1954 as a vision for affordable housing and the future of cities. It was never built. This is our school in 2011 before a series of renovations. What do these things have in common? They're all concepts that we use to form the Gilman Hydroponics Initiative. Let's get started. First, what the f is hydroponics? I'm so damn confused. We'll get to that. This movie comes in three acts. Act one, nothing. Two, something. Three, nothing again. You'll see. First, introductions. My name is Merritt Wigan. I make films and goof off. Here's a video of me and some buckets in Home Depot. <laughs> that laugh, that was Matthew Moo. He's wicked smart. Say hi, Matt. We can't hear you, Matt. We'll get back to him later. Next is Cameron Hare. Cam's our fearless leader and the one who came up with this brilliant idea. Here's him explaining it. Actually, scratch that. I'll explain for him. Cam's big idea was to build a greenhouse and grow plants without soil. So the very basics of how a hydroponic system works is that there's a nutrient solution which is put in a reservoir and then the plants through one way or another depending on the type of system have access to that solution and use it to grow to their mature states. Translation. Build a greenhouse and grow plants without soil. While for centuries traditional farming techniques use soil, water, seeds, and sunlight to grow plants, we were going to look for a way to grow plants using only water, seeds, and sunlight. This subtle difference in growing technique is called hydroponics. Hydro is in water, ponics as in work. Taking soil out of the equations allows for futuristic new farms. Farms that grow vertically in skyscrapers and in underground labs. Farms that produce 10 times the amount of produce in half the amount of time and space it takes to grow on traditional farms. This is the future of agriculture, and, really, the future of cities. And Matt and I thought Cam's idea was really cool. What came next was four straight months of hard work to bring our idea from inception to reality. I'm going to try to condense it into 45 seconds. Here goes. First, Matt drew up a greenhouse design and made it look pretty. Then we presented our idea to our school's administration, who after a week gave us $1,500 on their credit card, which we spent on all the supplies we needed for our hydroponic system and decided to order our greenhouse from online. Sorry, Matt. Next, Cameron and I constructed the greenhouse behind my garage over the weekend before I left on a trip to France. While I was gone, some folks from Gilman brought it to its new spot on the Gilman campus. When I came back, we put all the systems in place and planted little seedlings. We rigged them up to watering systems using hundreds of gallons of water to fill up each week and watched as over two months or plants began to grow rapidly and needed to be trellised for support. It was looking up. We had built our hydroponic system. Which brings us to Act 2. We had a greenhouse and five-foot-tall tomato and squash plants and lines of basil, parsley, and oregano. We sent emails to different companies asking if they could help us in some way. One, Grosentia, even sent us their university-tested patent-pending microbial biostimulant from all the way in Colorado to help our plants grow even healthier. We got drone shots of our structure and were two weeks away from our first tomato harvest when our greenhouse turned out to be literal trash. A windstorm had whipped through and pulled the panels off our greenhouse. We have zero footage of its destruction because we had to frantically kill all our plants and salvage what we could. It was only after our greenhouse was destroyed that we realized that our initiative didn't actually have a vision. For the money, I said. For the experience, Matt said. For the community, Cameron said. But after going from nothing to something to nothing again, we recognized that our story is more than just one vision. We want to show people that it's possible to come up with an idea and make it happen. We're in the middle of that process right now, and need to go back to the drawing board. Our next step is getting something sturdier, more long-lasting, and, unfortunately, a hell of a lot more expensive. We'd like to build Buckminster Fuller's geodesic dome. So, to come full circle, we'd like to upgrade the generic farmscape to something newer and forward-looking. A lasting contribution to our Gilman community. <laughs>